All right, so I recently got this Kindle and it's been a great purchase so far. Now, don't get me wrong, I like physical books as much as the next person does, but at this point in my life, it's just not practical to have a giant bookcase and carry around a bunch of books everywhere. So that's why I'm just sticking with eBooks for now. Now, I really like this Kindle. You can get them for very cheap. People get these for gifts all the time and then resell them for much less. So get a second hand. I got mine for like $30. But the problem with Kindle that I don't like is Amazon. So besides being an evil company that's sucking the soul out of America by destroying small businesses, Amazon's approach to ebooks is also pretty bad. So I'm sure you all have seen articles like this, like Amazon deleting books from users' Kindles without their permission and things like that. And the thing is with Kindle, you just have to suck it up and take it because you don't actually own any of the books that you purchase from Amazon. You might be thinking, okay, I paid money for the book, so I should own the book, right? Well, that's not entirely true. Amazon is basically just leasing the book to you and you're able to access it as long as they want. So like this article says, Amazon can just remove books from your Kindle for any reason, or even worse, you can get your Amazon account closed for whatever reason. Maybe you were doing something as innocuous as making too many returns and they decided to close your account. Well now all of the books that you bought on Amazon, doesn't matter if it's thousands of dollars worth of books on Amazon, those are all gone. You're no longer able to download any of those. And that's what you get for using Amazon's DRM'd books. So Amazon uses DRM with all these books. They're all locked down so you can't copy the file, share it with your friend or something like that. These are all locked down so that you don't own any of these books and they have complete control over them. Maybe Amazon doesn't like a book that you're reading. Maybe you're reading a controversial opinion and Amazon decides to ban this book. Well, you're out of luck with that too. So I definitely didn't want to give Amazon control over all my books, over my entire library to delete or do whatever they want to it. I'd rather just keep all the books myself and you can actually do that with Kindle. You can sideload all the books yourself, you can get them all on your local machine, and never let Amazon touch a single thing. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So you're probably wondering, how do I get the books? I obviously don't purchase it from Amazon, so where do they come from? And honestly, most of them I just download for free online. Now you might be thinking, oh no, internet piracy, you're stealing money from the authors. But if their book is only available on Amazon, then there's not really any way for me to get the book without DRM. And I found that a bigger moral problem than not paying the author. And besides, Amazon gives these authors a tiny, tiny fraction, maybe 30% with some of these. So I don't really feel too bad for not giving Amazon more money. Most of the books I read are by dead people anyway, so I don't lose too much sleep over that. Obviously, you can download a lot of these classics for free online. You can also use Library Genesis to get a lot of books. That's probably what I use most of the time. And of course, you can still buy the books if you want to support the authors. If they offer it on a website that doesn't lock it down with DRM, maybe an independent publisher where you just give them the money and they give you the EPUB file, that's perfectly fine. I still buy books if I have that option. For sure, support your favorite authors if you can. But anyway, once you have the books, then you can get them on your Kindle with this nice open source program called Calibre. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously not sign into Amazon on your Kindle. So there is a way to completely wipe any previous user that was on it. Whenever I got mine second hand, that's what I did. And then you don't actually have to log into your Amazon account to use your Kindle. Obviously they want you to, but I just put mine in airplane mode 100% of the time. So since I got it, it's never left airplane mode. And so Amazon doesn't uh, have access to what books I'm reading, and all this other metadata about me that I don't really want to give them. Why would I give Amazon free data about me? So I use my Kindle with no internet and it works fine. What you do is you download the books using this program Calibre. As you can see, you can add books right here. And Calibre is also great for converting eBooks. So most of the books that you get are not Kindle compatible. They're going to be in EPUB format, most likely. Maybe Mobi, which is the old which is the old Kindle format. But the easiest thing for me is if you have an EPUB file right here, you can click convert books and you can click 
AZW3. So this is the more modern Amazon file format. You can use Mobi, which also works for Kindle devices, but in my experience, converting EPUB to AZW3 just preserves the formatting better. Uh, when I converted it to Mobi, it had all these weird formatting errors and things like that. So this is gonna be the easiest way to convert books to your Kindle format. And once you have that done, honestly, all it takes is you just plug your Kindle in. All right, so my Kindle's plugged in. It should recognize it in a minute. And then it's gonna pop up a button right here, send to device. You don't have to do any configuration. It does it all automatically for you. That's why it's a great program. So yeah, you just click send to device. Maybe I wanna send this one. As you can see, it's not on my device yet. Click that, wait a few seconds, and yeah, the job is finished right here. As you can see, it was loading before at the bottom, but that's done. So yeah, the book is now on my device and I can read it no problem without Amazon tracking me or anything like that. The cover is intact. Calibre takes care of all that for you so you don't have to worry about that. There is also a way to do this via the command line instead of this graphical interface which I, I would honestly prefer doing, so I'm probably gonna figure out a way to do that shortly. Maybe I'll make another video on this, how to do it on the command line. I just find it easier instead of clicking all these buttons. But yeah, Calibre is a great program that I would really recommend, and that's how I manage all of my eBooks right here. And so all of these you can back up to a server. If you wanna save them, you can create backups of these. You don't have to leave these all to Amazon. Maybe it's not as convenient as just having it all up there in the cloud, Amazon's cloud. But with this, you actually know that you own these books. They can't just take them away from you for any reason. And so that's how you can manage your Kindle if you just want to stick it to Amazon.